For today's project, I'll be recreating these two beautiful coffee tables using some readily available materials and also using no drill gun for this project. If you're interested, keep on watching. To serve as the base of my coffee table, I had to recycle a plastic bucket as the base of these nesting tables. To make it easier to use it on the project, I had to remove first the handle, so I had to get rid of the iron handle. So by getting rid of it, I had to cut off the sides which had held the handles. So I had to use a um, hacksaw blade to cut off the plastic part on the side of the plastic part. It's been a while. For those who are joining this channel for the first time, my name is Roxy Nimis. I normally do simple home decor DIYs. We do a lot of recycling in this YouTube channel. If you're interested in seeing more of recycling projects, please don't forget to subscribe on to this channel and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. You're all welcome to my YouTube channel. After getting rid of the handles, as you could notice, the top part of the bucket was a bit protruding as compared to the lower part. So I had to find a way on which to make the top part and the lower part flush. By doing this, I had to add a piece of cardboard onto the lower part so that it could give me the straight line or the flushing equal line that I needed onto this bucket. To glue down the cardboard, I had to use my hot glue gun to glue it down all round. So instead of using the cardboard all round, you can also use just a piece of small cardboard at the lower part, which flashes the thickness with the top part of the bucket, or instead of covering the whole bucket using the cardboard. And to my returning subscribers, I'd love to say thank you so much guys for the support this far, it's been you guys. Thank you for watching my videos and also sharing them with your friends and family. Thank you so much. To achieve the fluted pattern onto the base of the coffee table, I had to use some pieces of MDF boards which were cut into smaller pieces and then beveled to give a beveled shape onto the top part. You can also use dowels if dowels are available in your country. Currently, we don't have dowels here in Kenya. So I had to find a way of how to make my own look like dowels. So this is the only thing I had to use, small pieces of MDF. So I had to align them like this onto the side of the bucket. To glue down the MDF boards, I had to use this liquid nail. I'll put the contact to where you can get such liquid nail. They are good and also they provide a strong hold, especially on wood and also on the boards. You can use it to make the wainscoting and also the wall panels. So I had to use this for my project since I was working with a board. And to make it hold for a while, or to make it hold instantly so as to can give it time to cure, I had to add some hot glue to secure the board as the other liquid nail cures. So I had to support it using more or enough amount of hot glue so as to make sure it doesn't move from the position. I went ahead and added the other panels, used the liquid nail and also the hot glue to stick down the panels onto the side of the bucket. For such MDF panels, you can get them at your local wood store. 
that is if you have a local wood stone near you they can make you such panels just give i'll just give the measurements that i used for my panels so that you can have the same done for you after adding all the panels this is how the bottom part of the coffee table turned out to prepare the mdf boards for painting i had to sand off the mdf panels using a soft sandpaper so you can get this sandpaper at your local hardware on to the top part of my coffee table i used a circular mdf board which was cut to the size that I needed for my coffee table and then it had to be beveled on the side just as the panels onto the lower part of the coffee table. If you're interested in such circular MDF boards, I'll put the contact in the description box. So I'll be showing you guys how I prepared the top part of the coffee table. First, I started by sanding the MDF board using the soft sandpaper as i told you guys you can get this sandpaper at your local hardware so i had to sand the mdf board all round so as to make it easier to proceed to the next part On to the next part was adding this putty. So what normally happens with putty, it gives a smooth finish onto the board while spraying. So by using the spreader, I had to spread the putty onto the top part of the MDF. You can get this putty at any local auto paint shop. So those shops which normally sell paints for cars, you can get this. I also did the same thing on the sides of the MDF board. I used the spreader to spread the putty all around. And after the putty had dried, I went ahead and took the same type of soft sandpaper and sanded the putty which had dried all around. By doing this, it helps you give you the smooth finish onto the MDF boards. So I had to sand it all around and made sure all the lines are even. So and also the putty is spread evenly onto the top part of the MDF board. Once I was done, I went ahead to spray the bottom part of my coffee table first. So I had to use my spray gun and I used the black matte paint onto this project. can use any color of your preference, so I preferred using the black matte paint onto the coffee table so i had to use several coats so as to give me the beautiful look that i needed onto the bottom part of this beautiful coffee table i did the same thing with the top part of the coffee table so first of all i had to blow out the dust which was there and then went ahead and sprayed the top part some several coats of this black matte paint you can also use a hand brush if you don't have a spray gun you can just use a hand brush to paint your MDF boards but first of all you have to do this step where you have to prepare the MDF board for painting so as to give you a smooth finish while painting the board after one coat of the black matte paint you can see how the top part was turning that's why i really love the matte paint it gives a beautiful finish look so i had to do like two coats before proceeding to the next part once the paint had dried this is how the bottom part of the coffee table turned out and also the top part this is how it turned out so smooth and so beautiful 
to glue the two pieces i had to use the nail glue just as i did onto the sides panel so i had to use the strong nail glue to glue down the top part and the bottom part To ensure the top part of the coffee table is held well onto the bottom part of the coffee table, I had to add enough amount of liquid nail onto these parts. After that, I went ahead and placed the circular MDF onto the bottom part of the coffee table. And to make sure it's horizontally flat, I went ahead and used my spirit level to see if it's on a horizontal level. And as you can see, the bubble was on the middle part, so it means my table is on a horizontal level. And also to ensure the circular part is on the middle part of the bottom part of the coffee table i had to use my tape measure so as to make sure the sides are evenly distributed glue had cured this how the bigger coffee table turned out i made two of them i made the bigger one which i, I would show you guys the full tutorial and also i made a smaller one using a small bucket for those who are interested in making such i'll put the contact as i said earlier of everything that you need to do this project as you can see the smaller one i also used a smaller bucket you can get a smaller bucket that says at your local shop or any supermarket near you and finally guys this is the end look of our beautiful fluted nesting tables let me know in the comment section what you think about this small transition from a plastic bucket into this beautiful fluted coffee table if you really love this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed don't forget sharing the videos with your friends and family and for those who are joining here for the first time had said earlier i normally do simple home decor diys and also i'm um, based in interior decor for those who would love to have their furnitures made kindly you can contact me and also you can check out my page which is nimi's home decor at instagram and also roxy nimi's at facebook and roxy nimi's at tiktok so these are these few items that i've made for a client so these are nesting two coffee tables they are fluted as you can see they are all made from wood and i didn't make a full video of it because these are the one of the bigger projects which i normally make behind the scenes but i don't end up posting them here so if you're if you're interested in such coffee tables you can contact me i'll put the number in my description box we normally make even dining table so we made a dining table which matches the two coffee tables that i had shown you earlier so most of my clients get inspiration from pinterest they just give me the picture from pinterest and we make them exactly how they look at pinterest so if you're interested in, with my services please don't forget to contact me Thank you so much guys for watching bye bye see you next time for a new diy video don't forget to follow me on instagram at nimi's home decor bye bye